are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, at the beginning of the NFL season last year, the focus really shifted from the play on the field to a particular pop star that was actually attending games. I'm talking about uh, Taylor Swift and the NFL went head first in to really propping up Taylor Swift. Now to us NFL fans that are purists, we were mainly focused on the game. We really didn't care about any celebrities actually attending the game. But Taylor Swift apparently is the, uh, the biggest pop star in the world. To me, that means nothing. I don't uh, listen to her music. No offense to anybody that actually enjoys her music. I, I just don't really care. When I watch a game on um, Sunday, I want to see the play on the field. I don't care about Taylor Swift or any celebrity attending the game. But as you guys remember, man, before this season started, because this is a uh, year two of uh, Taylor Swift watch. The NFL put out a hype video. And Taylor Swift appeared in his 30 second hype video four times. Patrick Mahomes, the reigning Super Bowl MVP, was in it one time. One time, Taylor Swift was the star of that height clip, not the players, not the players whatsoever, man. Remember, last season also, guys, the NFL went out their way to change all of their social media to focus on Taylor Swift. And I sure do believe, man, that they got a lot of backlash. A lot of people also believe that um, some of these uh, Chiefs games have favored the Chiefs because... The NFL doesn't want to um, upset the Swifties. Now, the Chiefs are a great team with or without Taylor Swift, not taking anything away from the Chiefs. But how do the players actually feel about Taylor Swift? Well, guys, we got the answer, man. And this may surprise some people because it's definitely not aligning with the way the fans have reacted. So let's get into this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both for just $5 per month. Check the link in the description. So here we go. Check this out, guys. Do NFL players like Taylor Swift? Poll results might surprise some people. It says here, NFL players have an overwhelmingly positive view of Taylor Swift. The most famous singer on the planet has become a fixture in the NFL after she started dating Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey last season. Swift jumping headfirst into the NFL world brought in a lot of new fans. Now, I got a question about this outkick. I don't believe that these people are necessarily NFL fans. They're fans of Taylor Swift. She has a loyal unfollowing and they only tuned in just to see her. That's it. Now, Taylor Swift has actually been um, she's actually disappeared the last couple of um, games. She hadn't been there. And I don't really know if her fans actually um, kept watched. I really don't know. But to me, man, the Swifties are not really NFL fans. They are Taylor Swift fans. That's what they are. Anyway, right here. It says, do NFL players like Taylor Swift attending games? Do players like Taylor Swift's presence at games? The answer isn't even close, according to a poll. From the Athletic of Players. The poll of anonymous NFL players showed that 72.5% of players have a positive view of Swift attending games. Only 4.9% uh, felt it was a negative. The rest didn't have an opinion either way. Now, 
I don't care if Taylor Swift attends the games. And also, guys, I really got to blame the media because these networks, man, when the games are going on and Taylor Swift is there, they actually pan to her so many times. It takes away from the game. So I'm not even blaming Taylor Swift for that. It's really the networks. And you know what? Maybe the maybe the NFL is actually giving on these networks some marching orders. Say, hey, we need to we need to um, prop her up because, man, we got a lot of people watching. And, you know, it's going to come down to uh, dollars and cents, guys. That That's what it's about. But um, one unnamed player says this quote. I think it's been positive for the league. I think that at the end of the day, it's a business and you need to get as many eyes on it as possible. And she brings a lot of eyes. So, you know, if that increases the salary cap, I don't think anybody's going to be too mad about that one. That was from an unnamed player right there. Now, the thing is, man, she's dating Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is old. Could this possibly be? Possibly be his last season is possible. And if that's the case and they're still together, I highly doubt that Taylor Swift is actually going to be attending Chiefs games. She won't. So will those new quote unquote fans remain around? And Travis Kelsey this season so far has really been struggling. Bit time. He caught a lot of heat, too, as well. Last game, much better. Goes on here, says another disagreed and said, quote, I feel like she is getting unnecessary coverage. That's that's my take on it, too. There was the whole NFL opening season video on Twitter. That's what I was talking about. And she was featured five times. Okay, I thought it was four. And our quarterback was featured none. That's not even right. She is not the NFL. You know what? That's the way a lot of fans of the NFL feel. As the unnamed player said above, the NFL is a business that is interested in getting as many eyeballs as possible on the product on the field. Swift bringing in her millions of fans into the fold helps everyone at the end of the day. It's more than fair to find the coverage annoying, but from a business standpoint, it'd be crazy to not lean into it. Yeah. So, man, really, I just wish that the NFL really focus on, you know, the game. I get growing the sport. I get that. And the NFL is king, man. They have more eyeballs on them than the four major sports in this country. And really, it's not even close. But I'm really taking this, you know, as being a NFL purist. I've been watching the NFL for decades. And like I said, I don't care about any celebrities. I don't care about them watching the games. I don't care about them attending. When I watch the Cowboys, man, guess what? I'm watching the Cowboys for the Cowboys. So if my favorite actor or singer attends the game, doesn't matter to me. But like I said, I'm coming from the standpoint of being an actual real fan. The NFL is depending on the Swifties to watch. And they're not real fans. Will they actually stick around if Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey break up? Highly doubt it. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.